Hey, what's going on everybody? Skoda Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are back. We're playing some Football Manager 2015, our Football Manager career mode with Sparta, Rotterdam. Now, it's not been the greatest start for Dave Sexton. His first ever managerial role, he was lucky enough to land it at Sparta, Rotterdam. Um, one loss, one draw in the first two games. Um, the draw coming from a commanding 2-0 lead um, and throwing it away. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to push on. We're gonna have to hope. We're gonna have to see what we can do. Um, we still don't have a reserve goalkeeper on the bench, so we're gonna do something about that. Um, okay, we're good to go. We need a win. We're up against VV um, as. If you missed the first episode, uh, go back. I'd suggest to go back and watch it. It does set a uh, a good setting for the reason we are Sparta, why we chose them, um, and uh, and what we're hoping to achieve in this series. I did also hope um, or ask you guys to leave comments in the first video, uh, letting us know what you think we can achieve uh, with Sparta, um, and uh, and and if you were pleased with the choice or not. So um, obviously leave those comments below if you're. Uh, if you if you would like to make one, we're about to get started. Michael Reisiger is telling us what to say, so we're gonna we're gonna listen to him, um, and we're about to to get underway. It's gonna be a long, hard season, I think, especially with the form we're in early on. We're struggling, and we don't seem to make many tackles. Let's put it that way, and we are a goal down within three minutes. Terrible defending. There's just no pressure on the ball. And then look, two men around him, three men around him, and he just gets in front of all of them making the header. Well, the only good news is we've got time to get back into this. Not a lot going on, though. Corner. Played it back out wide, and we've lost the ball. We do try and close this ball down quickly um, and put a lot of pressure on it. Maybe he's got a bit lucky there. Could have misplayed that. That was straight to our straight to our winger. And again, they're in behind us. Again, they're on the byline. We still don't make a challenge. They've scored again, for goodness sake, boys. It's just poor. It's just so poor. Look at that, there's one challenge and he gets past two players. Just floats it over to the back stick. Here we go, there's the goal. Awful, awful football. And look at that, the ball, last five minutes is just constantly in our half. Um, it's pretty even, they've got better, better percentage in our Final third. Here comes the short corner again. Doesn't come off this time. Um, well, they've added some ambulances to the uh, to the burger van out by the side of the ground. Send them out there after shouting at them and hope they do something slightly better. So can we come from 2-0 down? That's the question. Based on what I've seen, no, no, we can't. As we said, it's going to take a bit of time. Oh, and we could be up against 10 men. It's going to take a bit of time for us to get used to our new formation, um, as it always does at the start of the season. We are training to get better at it. Van Morsel with the free kick. Didn't even reach the goal based on where the highlights stopped. Now, if we concede against 10 men, I'm going to be fuming. But I think what this has proved is that we need a defensive midfielder. They're in behind us. It's a good save by the keeper. We've still got the ball, though, in our penalty box. We haven't got anywhere near it. I don't know what it is with our inability to challenge. 
60 minutes gone. 60 minutes gone and we're doing nothing. Just terrible. We are absolutely awful. Come on, boys. Let's show him, see if that makes any difference. We've hit the post. Referee! Nothing given. This has not been a good start. Gonna to get to the byline though, and then it's gonna get cut out, and here they come. Run it back in midfield. Terrible pass. Absolutely woeful pass. Stops all kind of forward momentum. Here we go. Running at the defence. Ball across, it's blocked and cleared. Again, the attacker picks it up, holds onto it well, and we don't win the ball back. Last 10 minutes, nothing happening. This is what worries me. The last 10 minutes of game against 10 men and we can't even get the ball back to make a chance. It's just so poor. And there we go. What can I do? They, I can't keep shouting at them so early in the season, but we need something. Hopefully, a bit of a prolonged rest will help. Interestingly, none of our players are in the team of the week. Um, and we need to come up with something. Um, we could drop our defensive midfielder, or our attacking midfielder, into a defensive midfielder position. I think I'm going to give it one more game after we've had our, our break here. When is our next game? 14 days, so that gives us some good time to get... Some uh, some conditioning back. It's early on in the season. It's quite difficult. Um, hopefully that will help. So we've got quite a long break. Um, so just while we're while we're working our way through this, thank you very much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Um, I hope you're enjoying this series, especially if you're uh, one of the viewers from the old series. I really hope you uh, you've stuck with us and that this is uh, ticking the boxes as hopefully those those old series did. Um, there probably will be a second series, but since we're in the beta release, I wanted just to uh, I wanted just to wait until um, until a it became a bit more stable, and b um, there's some some mods released, um, you know, so we can see what uh, what mods come out and uh, attempt to uh, attempt to use some of those to to build a series on. So that's the reason there isn't isn't. A second series just yet there probably will be um, especially based on how this one started um, it might replace this one at this at this rate um, transfer deadline day is today really oh man I'm gonna ignore it because I haven't really got anything going on um, go away people coming in for our coaches which isn't good hopefully he'll choose to stay although based on our start I wouldn't be surprised if he jumps ship um, I mean the plan is to focus on youth but we need to we need to finish in the playoffs and at this at this rate we're gonna get relegated um, it's early days very early days too early to get particularly um, particularly worried about it Chasing my goalkeeper. Hopefully he will uh, he will stay. Although he just looked like he just conceded four goals. Um, okay, we're heading into 
heading into our match. It's a f still a few days away. Ten days to go. But we are now into uh, into September. Didn't realise that the start of the season was was quite so late for the uh, you know for well I say so late it's a few games and then the um, the transfer windows ended. Didn't realise we were quite that far into it. Although we haven't really got a transfer budget uh, because of the amount of money we're spending on wages actually. So um, it's a little bit irrelevant really. Um, and it's good that we didn't lose anyone, but uh, we're going to have to keep going. disappointed with our current start clearly which isn't good it's not what we wanted we wanted to get everybody on board early on uh, and use that as a uh, as a springboard to some kind of success we haven't been able to do that so we're gonna have to put in some hard work and change this round somehow um, be it a change of formation already which I don't really want to do I want us to get to a position where we're we're happy with our formation we are accomplished with it at this moment in time, so it's we're making progress, um, but we want it to be a natural thing for our players to be in position, in the right position at the right time, and that takes a bit of time when you're when you're playing a new formation. Um, what else have we got going on? Any news? Not really. The uh, international break is over. And people are returning to teams. And here we go. We're going to send the assistant to our press conferences, as we always do. I especially don't want that, um, that thing that happened to Stephen McLaren to happen to me, where I start speaking in a Dutch, Dutch accent um, in the press conference, um, but still speaking in English. Um, although that was hilarious. If you haven't seen it, go and, go and Google uh, Steve McLaren Dutch. It's, it's very funny. Um, okay. Still goalkeeper on the bench, so let's get him on there. It's just a question as to whether we put him down here. Um, for this game, we're not going to. For this game, we're going to play. Still got a lot of players who are. We're going to try and get a win. Um, but we are. Going to go in for this. As best we can. We're going to ask them to show an improvement. And we're going to get started. Come on, boys. Okay. Good lord. <laughs> right. Come on, boys. Let's see if we can defend this corner. We've given up way too much of the ball at early phases. And then we're lacking any kind of... I mean, we're closing down. We just seem to be lacking the desire to win the ball in challenges. Um, here we go. Come on, boys. That's a terrible, terrible free kick. It's back out, though. There's the cross. Ooh. Razak picks it up. There's the shot. Oh, he's gone through the keeper somehow. Shot from 25 yards. We will take it. Dogan with the strike. It's first of the season. It's well done by Razak. He just held onto the ball, picked him out, and shot with the right foot. I don't quite know how, but it seemed to go under the keeper's arm. Got to go down as a goalkeeping error, if you ask me. Eight minutes gone. We've got a lead. That's good news. Okay. We've got the ball again. Razik looks for Van Morsel. He's picked it up. Oh, it should have been a goal. There's people over at the back stick. We didn't play it. We're going to pick that up again with Razik. Look for Van Morsel. He's got it. Oh, it should have been a goal. Half an hour gone. We do have a lead. Is it enough? 
It's not going to be enough for us to hold on. We don't look like keeping clean sheets. Let's put it that way. Come on, boys. Once we've got a very tired midfielder in there. And Morsel finds Vihar. Oh, we tried to whip it into that far post. Couldn't quite. That's a good ball out wide. There's a strike. It's in. It's a hell of a ball by Dogen. Vihar with this finish. This pass is spectacular. Takes a touch. Threads it through the midfield. Then first time finish through the keeper. We've been in this position before. And we've let it slip away. Van Buren. Picks it up. There's Dogen. Ooh. Good block by the defender. Oh, good football, boys. Well done. Last 10 minutes. Let's make some changes up here. Dogan's had an excellent game for us. Can we hold on? That's the question. If we concede here, I'm going to be absolutely fuming. Oh, good save, keeps. Not sure what happened there, but it looked close. Last five minutes. Apologies if you can hear the fireworks in the background, by the way. It um, gives you an idea of when I'm when I'm recording this. Um, we lost the ball in midfield. Last 10 seconds. Come on, ref, blow that whistle. We'd love a clean sheet here. But more importantly, the three points, and we've got them. Dogen was superb for us. Goal and an assist. Just tell them we were pleased. Let's uh, continue. Our first victory and our first clean sheet popping up there as achievements. There we go. So we're now 14th in the uh, in the league. Let's have a little look here. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like looks like some teams are making some good progress as well. So we're going to need to to fight hard to get back into it. However, we've played a lot less games than some of these teams. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button, follow us on Twitter, Scott Gaming. See you again soon. Thank you.